Neil, you've said a few times in recent weeks that you know the season has to start soon. Well, is tomorrow the day? Well, we hope so. I mean, it, it, I think it's a time to be positive. We've, you know, we, there's always little things happening. I think everywhere, at every club, really, there's, there's problems at the moment for managers, which we've not come across before. All the injuries that are happening, you see them all over the country now with so many games and so little in between time. So it's it's just something that we're learning as we go along, really. I've, I'm just optimistic that we can set off on a run again now, you know, but. You know, I think everybody's thinking the same at this level. A run is, is what's needed, isn't it? I mean, obviously, you know, the five-point gap needs bridging to the playoffs. But, um, you know, looking at the, the traditional points tally that you need to get into the playoffs, there's going to have to be a winning run put together, isn't there? Yeah, and, and lads are going to have to, you know, do better than what they've done lately. Um, you know, you, you've, we've seen other teams. I don't think there were that much between us, if I'm honest. Last week, I think if I could pick two players out of their team, I might have won. I know which two. <laughs> no, you don't. You well, only know well, one. Well, yeah, definitely know one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Derby tomorrow, obviously, in the bottom three, but they have actually picked up a few wins of late, haven't they? They've all do, they're all doing quite well down there. It's like, you know, they know, you know, let's be fair, Rotherham were in bottom three and all when we played them, but they, they pasted us. So, you know, I, I expect it to be a difficult game. You know, the only it's a horrible thing when you're down there. You know, I, we remember when we turned up here, and we were talking about that this morning, me, Kevin, and Ronnie. And it was a horrible feeling, you know, uh, when you're down there. You've had a good run, and you're still in in the problems. You know, it's um, I don't envy that. I'm glad you know we can look at at something different at this moment in time. They don't score many goals though, do they, Derby? So um, do you expect a tight game as a result? Well, we don't either, do we, Mark? So it's you know, it's not going to be one for the connoisseurs, is it? <laughs> You've got more than Derby, Neil. <laughs> Have we? Oh, I don't know. I haven't looked at that. I didn't know that. <laughs> um, Patrick Roberts, obviously, uh, didn't work out for him this season with you and with Middlesbrough. What, why didn't Why didn't it happen? Because obviously he was a player that you liked at the end of last season and now he's at Derby. So why didn't it work out? Well, I just, I, you know, I, as I said, I apologise to him for it not working out, really, because I just couldn't get him in the team in the in a position... Where I felt, you know, that um, that we hadn't got a better alternative. Um, we tried it on two or three occasions, and it never quite come off. So, I think it, for his own good, I, I think Derby play a different style as well, which will suit him. Uh, get a lot more of the ball in areas. So, um, I think it'll be a good move for him. You know, hope he doesn't do great against us. But you know, I, I never had a problem with him at all. It just just didn't work out, and so, you know, we we felt we could use that wage to bring somebody else in, you know. Do you think he'll feel like he's got a point to prove tomorrow? I think every time Patrick is on the pitch, he's, he's got a point to prove. Not just against us, I think he's that type of lad. I don't think that'll, I don't think it'll up it 20% or knock it 20%. I think he'll be, as he always is, trying to do the best he can. How are your injuries looking? Obviously, Dale Fry was missing last week and, and Marcus Tavernier's been out for, for a little bit now. How are they doing? Yeah, it's you know, you do feel a little bit... Um, a little bit down at times when you're a manager when you, you know, so-called best players are, are missing. It never seems to be the fringe players that get a knock. It always seems to be main players. So, but you know, whatever injuries we've just got to get on with it. Really, um, I know they've done like they've done some training this week, the pair of them. But um, I, I haven't seen them this morning. I'm not aware of any any upsurge in fitness that makes me really buoyant that they're going to be involved. Um, you know, I mean, Dale's likely to tell me that he's okay, but um, you know, I've not heard anything at the moment. And obviously, there's a bit of a tension on on the dugouts tomorrow, in that that Wayne Rooney is is now the permanent Derby manager, as he has been for a few weeks, and he's right at the start of his career, and he he loved the experience you've built up over the years. How how does it feel for you to come up against, you know, rookie managers? Do you, do you always feel like you have a bit of an an advantage there? Not really. No, every week's a every week's a challenge for me. Really, um, you know, I look at more or less who's refereeing it rather than who's the manager. <laughs> <laughs> Especially nowadays, it seems to be uh, half the battle. Really, if you get a good one. Who have you got tomorrow? Do you know? I do know, yeah, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Don.
Come on, you look as though you're just not, not enough there, Dawn. <laughs> I'm in a very hot room, actually. Um, mentioning Marcus uh, Tavernier there, it must be great for you to know that he's won the Young Player of, of the Year award and Johnny House and picking up the, the Player of the Year in, in the North East Writers. Well, I think, you know, the lads yesterday gave them all a round of applause, etc. It's fabulous for us, you know. Uh, they've worked really hard. We've only, you know, we've only been at it a short time, really. Um, but everybody's responded, and I think everybody's contributed to these two lads having the, the season, or the end of the season and beginning of this season, uh, you know, in, in, the, in 2020, really. And they both deserve it. They've both been outstanding. Um, you don't usually get the accolades to at one club, really. But I think in this particular case... I don't see a better young player than Tav and I don't see a better player of the year than Johnny. So I think it's been well deserved and I, I feel quite proud that they've got this this, this award and the, the achievement that the club's got. Well, you should because, I mean, it's not entirely down to them. A lot of it is, is down to you. Well, I'd like to think so. I mean, I don't run about on the pitch, um, but I think it's giving them the freedom to play to their own strengths, really. And I think these two lads in particular have just grown in stature um, while I've been here and very hard, very difficult to replace, you know. Um, luckily, we got Johnny back and hopefully in the next couple of weeks, Tav, Tav will be back as well because we have missed his, his drive and his enthusiasm. It's like you miss the fans as well. The way we play, you know, you know the fans are going to be right behind you in the, you know, in, in, in the situation. So I think we miss the fans, especially at the Riverside, more than most clubs, I think. And also, I think, you know, you've got to take some credit for the, the sort of buzz that you created at the training ground and, and amongst the team, the sort of the happiness, the, you know, all of that sort of atmosphere that, that, that you've, you've brought with you. Yeah, I do enjoy that part, Dawn, if I'm honest. I think it's me, it's the favourite part of my job now at my age. It's not, um, yeah, I'd like to win things um, without a shadow of a doubt. And I do get disappointed. I, I have been on quite a new number of occasions this year when we haven't quite done what I've expected us to do. Um, but the rest of the game, the rest of the, you know, it's a lovely club, a lovely area where I am. Uh, I'm disappointed I've not really been able to manage in front of the fans, but I, I, I do enjoy that part of the job. I do enjoy the training ground. I enjoy trying to... When I was a player, there was a couple of managers I played for and I didn't really want to get out of bed in the morning, I felt, oh no, not another day like that, you know. Whereas here, you know, I think the lads are looking, really looking forward to coming in training and what's around the corner and, you know, the humour that there is. You know, I think humour's great, me. You know, they know when I mean business and, 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 and what I'm going to say, um, but they're a good group and, and, and that's all I can do, really. I, that's what I say, I enjoy that part of the, of the job. Um, and when you are playing a team that, that's struggling, how much of it is a psychological, mental thing? Because if you, you know, if you're right up there playing a team that's down at the bottom, there's a kind of psychological expectation that you're going to win, and that's one of the one of the most dangerous things to go into a game expecting, isn't it? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we've got the type of lads that think that, Don. If I'm honest, I think it's just that we are finding it very difficult to replace certain players when they're not fit and when they're not available. We haven't got a massive squad and, and I think lads that are coming in are doing a reasonable job. But you give me my first 11 and I think we'd be a match for anybody in the league, you know. Unfortunately, we've not been able to do that for a few weeks. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that before long we can get back to that in the next, you know, in the next few games. And obviously you've brought a few new players in, but it, it does just take a bit of time for them to bed in, doesn't it? Yeah, and there's always fitness issues, you know. Like last week, we didn't want to risk Mendes last week at all. Um, he's a little bit behind the other two. But he's had a good week this week in training, Mendes, and uh, so has Cabana. Um, so it, it'll be interesting to see, you know, how far they come and, um, you know, whether I can use uh, Mendes 20 minutes, half an hour if possible, you know, just to give him a run before we've got a tough run of games coming up. Um, it did look... Very good yesterday, I must admit. But it's different in half a game, half a pitch, than a full pitch at full speed. You know, it's a, it's a, a whole different ball game. So we've just got to be a little bit careful when they've been out for so long, these players. 
And Mark mentioned Wayne Rooney, um, novice manager. I know you're not necessarily in the business of giving new managers advice, but um, with all the many decades that you've got, if there was one piece of advice you could give him, what would it be? Well, I've always said about get a, get a good chairman and get a good owner. That's the number one thing. But in Wayne's, it's a little bit different in Wayne's case. I mean, when I come into the into the job, I needed the job. I want. I had to be successful to pay the bills. You know, Wayne's you know a very wealthy man, and he can come in a different style. He hasn't got to worry about certain things that I would have worried about when I was younger. You know, because if worse come to the worst, you know, he doesn't need a job. He'll get another job somewhere. So it's it's a, it's a little bit different. There's not as much pressure on these managers like you know like Frank Lampard and Steven Gerrard and people people like that. They can go and and do the job without the pressures or the extra pressures that football management brings. So um, you know I, I just think they'll enjoy it more because you know you do worry about paying the bills when you when you're in management to start with anyhow. Brilliant, Neil. Thanks very much. Good luck. Thanks, Dove. Simon. Good morning, Neil. Just a couple. Um, you said a couple of weeks ago that you felt the Norwich and the Brentford game were in some way free hits. I think we all understood what you meant, and I'm sure the fans understood that as well. But now they're done with, does it feel like a kind of reset point for the season? Yes and no, really. I think, once again, I'm, I'd love to get my full team back on the pitch um, and get these injuries out of the way. We've never really recovered, you know, missing Dale from the Blackburn game, really. I know he played at Norwich, but then he'd something else, you know, and so it, I, I still get a little bit disgruntled when I think back to the to the Blackburn game because I felt um, that that was a turning point in the season, really. I felt that three points that day with a penalty ascending off would have changed the whole outlook. And now we're fighting against, you know, we, we haven't had a win for a couple of games or a few games and it's a whole, whole different ball game. You do feel a little bit... Um, you know, you're gutted underneath, really, because you know that it was somebody else's inability that, that's, that's put you in this situation. But once that disappointment's gone, you've got to get on with it, really. And uh, whoever comes into the team, just got to pick up and, and, and do the best. And we've got to try and come away with a, with a result at Derby, even though, as you said, you can remember what we were like. We weren't easy to play against when we were in down in that bottom three area. We were very difficult. and But it was a horrible feeling, inside you know when you you're desperate for a win it's such a difference to trying to get in the playoffs things like that where you know you make a mistake and it might not be as important but down there everything that you do scrutinize every mistake gets punished um it's a you know i'd you know definitely i wouldn't swap the position that, that the two clubs are in at the moment because it's it's not a nice situation and anybody can be anybody on the day you know um, the schedule obviously has been relentless all season long. I suppose to look at the positive side, you've had the luxury of a couple of midweeks off, and that that must have helped with the likes of Bolasti and Mendes Lang and, and getting some fitness into them. Yeah, uh, it has, but you know, it, 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 there's, there's all sorts of problems crop up with, it, with training when midweek and everything. You know, with the number of games that we've got coming up, so you know, you 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 overcome one obstacle and then you get another one thrown at you, and. and uh, it, it never ceases to amaze me, uh, football management and, and, and obviously the, the fitness of these players. So I'm just hoping that they can continue you know, what they've been doing and, and that we can get a good run of games. Uh, last one for me. Another thing you said recently was you, this is the part of the season you like. So how confident are you that you can, you can get this team where it needs to go? Well, I'd like it more if I had my full team. I, I've got to admit, I can't tell a lie. Um, I've just got to make try and get a little bit more out of the lads that have, you know, replacing probably the regulars, um, and hope that we can, like I say, set off on a run. Uh, most everything I would imagine most managers are feeling the same. I do enjoy the run-ins, but this seems to have been a run-in since since November. <laughs> to me, there have just been so many games. Never, you know, I've never. I mean, I don't know about the other managers, but I, you know. We did a, a thing yesterday on the video in the afternoon, you know, about three o'clock, something like that. And I was not enough of sleep, me, you know. Um, and I'm, you know, I suppose it's my age, but I bet some of the younger managers are not enough of sleep as well at the moment. It's uh, such a busy and hard working uh, situation to be in at the moment.